Okay, ready in three, two, one, coming to you from Pelican headquarters in Flagami, Miami, Florida. Welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. And uh, here we are. Hope you can hear me okay. I'm using, I'm back to my old microphone, the old Audio Technica. Um, not for any particular reason. I just uh, wanted to, to, to try something different. And it does, uh, it, it's, it, it does have a little bit of a cleaner sound. Uh, when I'm recording the voiceover on the video, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna use the USB mic for when I'm on the road, which is gonna be soon, hopefully, and then this one here. I uh, see everybody's here. Hello, Rebecca Hernandez. I, I, I noticed I, I got a super chat earlier, right before we, we started, so thank you, Kathleen. Kathleen Sperma for that super chat. And uh, today we're drinking a Golden Road Brewing from Los Angeles, California. This is called... Wolf Pop Session IPA. Have no idea. I I tried it yesterday. It was all right, and um, you know I discovered a, a total wine and spirits a, a booze delivery. So that's what I used. So I didn't have to like uh, go to the. I, I'm trying to get out of the house. Uh, uh, you know as the, the least possible. So um, there you go. Um, so let's let's give it a taste test. And um, here we go. It's a session IPA. It's a little light, but it's good. All right, uh, Rachel Talerico drinking spiced rum and Coke. LOL, cheers, and Tracy Sorrell. Oh, by the way, I went to the um, PO box today and uh, was it today or yesterday you know things are a blur uh, and uh, I got a couple of things and I got this one uh, from Jace Rachel, Rachel Telerico from uh, Georgia and let me tell you I'm, I'm gonna start selling this ah, it's kind of tight in here you're not going to believe what I got. I got Charming. And let me tell you, I, 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 it, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to come by Charming. I've found like, um, I, I saw they had like Angel Soft and all, um, like the generic brands, but this stuff is kind of hard to come by. So thank you so much, uh, Rachel. Very thoughtful. Very thoughtful of you to send me this. And uh, actually, I've gotten two uh, packs of, <laughs> of toilet paper from Georgia. The other one uh, was from Ewe in uh, up there, um, you know, Ilis, Ilis Nis in, near Atlanta. And uh, now this, so, we, we, you know, no shortage of toilet paper uh, here in the house. That's for sure. Thank you so much to all of you <laughs> for sending me this stuff. And... Uh, and I still have like uh, I still have a couple of rolls of like RV toilet paper just in case like uh, zombie apocalypse. I also want to thank if you're watching um, Richard. He sent me a, a very nice letter actually. Uh, from Los Osos, California, Richard Heath, and um, very nice letter he, he does that and he sent me some like a. Uh, like an old-fashioned super chat, which is really cool. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So I should, I should say, I, actually, this is a super cash. So thank you. And uh, let me see. I think I missed a, <clears throat> a super chat somewhere up here. Uh, did I? <coughs> I'm sorry. I, I, uh, that's it. Oh, man. I, I'm not going to be able to keep up with this chat today, am I? S uh, thank you, uh, Steve Halterman, for that super chat. Hi from Des Moines, Iowa. Hope to see you in 2021. Now, man, you might still see me in 2020. Uh, I, I'm not giving up uh, hope. But, um, uh, yeah, today, today would have been uh, my departure date on the Alaska trip which is, uh, of course, not going to happen. But I was looking at my calendar here. I started deleting things, and I said, nah, maybe I'm not going to delete them just to see, uh, like, uh, around the 11th, 12th, 13th of uh, May, I was thinking Kansas City, then 13th, 14th, 15th, Des Moines, then Iowa City, and um, there's this town called Riverside, which is uh, James T. Kirk's 
a future birthplace and uh, things like that and then i wanted to to take, take the river road uh, f through the mississippi uh, minneapolis the, the mississippi river headwaters that will be by the 20th 21st the 22nd the kvly tv mast which until recently it was the tallest structure in the world and that's in north dakota well i, I could go on but um things that's since that's not gonna happen um this year, at, at least not exactly the same way. Uh, uh, I'm just going to answer some of your questions here. And uh, hello, Mr. Beast Mode, uh, CLT. Oh, Lucky, Do Lucky Dog Productions moderator is here in the house too. And I saw, uh, I saw Red Jaguar 100 earlier too. So welcome. And uh, Caleb, Caleb Jack Jackson from New Jersey. And uh, Alejandro... Said 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 Nick said Sidel Sidel Nick. When do you Argentina? One of these days. One of these days, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to the to 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 the to the southern cone of South America and visit Argentina, and um, all the way to Ushuaia, actually. And uh, 414 watching Rachel uh, and um, oh brother. Uh, how am I going to be able to do this chat today? I'm going to have to get me a chat moderator soon. Someone that... that uh, actually, we might do something uh, soon here. The, it's an idea that I got from from uh, Mike and Jennifer of RV Lifestyle uh, Podcast. Um, uh, Rose Fitzsimmons from Northern California. Hello there, Mary Callum. My husband was wondering why... He had this random Thursday off, and I realized he was tentative day for the Des Moines meetup. That that was probably that date uh, that I just uh, mentioned, right? Uh, probably that Thursday, the fourteenth. Uh, that was more or less the, the the date that I was thinking. I was thinking actually doing two uh, two meetups back to back. I was gonna do like Kansas City one day, and then the following day, uh, Des Moines. And, uh, you know, because I like to do them during the week and Des Moines and Kansas City are kind of close enough that I could make the trek from one to the other in one day. And Sharon Rodriguez, thank you so much for that. Super sticker, number one fan. Yay. <laughs> and uh, what do we have here? Oh, John Furch. Uh, thank you so much for that. Super chat. Hello from Elmore, Alabama. Uh, enjoy watching your show and watching 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 your show <laughs> yeah. uh, it's one of those days guys and um and maybe maybe i i kind of have a, a, a like like a rough draft of my new travel plan i might share it with you guys a little later but let me just uh um go through the chat here a little bit and uh and be, be, before I mention uh, anything else, you know, this is, this is what, the, what the Wendlers are doing. If you have a question, if you type all caps question before your question, that way it's easier for me to see. And if it is a comment, you can just uh, type all caps comment. And uh, well, m most of them are comments, right? But I don't know. It's, it's an idea. If you guys uh, think that's a good idea and you want to do it like that, uh, it might be easier uh, to see all, the, all, all your messages. Otherwise, it's, it's um, between the super chats and the, and the members, you know, it's kind of hard. Um, Jeff Shea, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you, Robert, for getting me through lockdown in New York. I couldn't do it without your videos. Love them all. And I'm, I know New York, it must be, it must be rough uh, to be in New York with the with the lockdown it's one of the hardest hits uh, hit areas of course uh, jesse mckill thank you so much for that super chat we watched your grand teton park and yellowstone park video so beautiful what national park is your favorite uh, i think i still have a soft spot for for grand canyon just because it is so grand and it was one of the first uh, uh, national parks that i visited actually uh, way back when probably was a 2005 or six it was the the first time i went to vegas and we took the 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 small plane and uh and the first time i saw the grand canyon i was like i was like wow i mean the, there's a, the the first time you see the grand canyon it's like your your mind cannot comprehend uh, what you're looking at 
that that that's the way that I see it. Um, of course, Death Valley. I mean, there are many others that are up there. Yosemite, it's amazing. Uh, Brandon Starzel, thank you so much for that super chat. Good evening from Cloudland Canyon State Park. I hope everyone is okay. Cloudland Canyon, that's in my list for when I depart. And I have a tentative departure date now of, of early June on the, on the long trip. But we'll see. Uh, uh, and Cloudland Canyon is there. That that's uh, kind of uh, somewhere. It's it's kind of in between Atlanta and Chattanooga, right? That that area there in the mountains. And you know that's one of the, my favorite areas in the whole country, uh, northern Georgia. And um, and Alan Shitwood, thank you so much for that super chat. That was an excellent podcast, by the way. They're super B. Uh, I can only dream of yeah that I, I really like uh, those B pluses the the super B plus and uh, yeah my, Mike and Jennifer super super nice couple I've, I've we've 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 been uh, be, becoming friends over the years you know we, we we actually I we see each other at we've been seeing each other at every RV show for the past couple of years so. Uh, yeah, um, um, Mono, thank you so much for your super chat. I just watched your Grand Teton video. It's awesome. Keep it up, Robert. Thank you so much. And uh, okay, let me get to some of the non-super chats here because otherwise, um, Sound Chaser, I bought your CD this week waiting to play it in the car uh, on a road trip from DC. And I just, I went to the to the uh, post office today and I, mm, yeah, I probably dropped uh, yours. Um I had I had I had like twenty CDs and like twenty stickers. It's been a uh, um, Tammy McDowell. What IPA we're having tonight? It's a Go Golden Road Brewery Wolf Pop. I I you know I just bought it because I had never had it before. So uh, that's basically uh, the main reason why. Um, you can also use at Traveling Robert if you have a question. Yeah, thank you CLT. And uh, let me see, cause cause when I reset the chat. Some of the super chats I I, I miss, like uh, like Matt's RV reviews. How you doing, man? How are you? Uh, it was great to meet Matt, by the way. Uh, exactly a little over a month ago. Uh, that was the last time I was on the road. Uh, howdy, Robert. Hope all is well. Here is a super chat for the best RV channel on YouTube. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. And um, and the best RV review channel for sure. It's 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 yours, man. You 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 give it such a great energy to to your channel that I really like it. Uh, uh, Dylan Cut, your date is wrong. You know you're absolutely right. And uh, it's one of those things. I'm still in April, guys. But that's easily fixed. Here we go. <laughs> Um, gaining momentum comment uh, camping without beer is just sitting in the woods well yeah I suppose yeah HD low rider question what is your favorite large American city New York it's it's crazy it's it could be dirty it could be whatever you want it to be but it's New York and, um, and of course, I haven't seen the whole uh, city yet. And I like many other cities, but it's, uh, yeah, I ho hopefully when all this is over, I'll, I'll, sp I'll spend a couple of days in, in, in New York. I, I, I kind of like that sensory overload from time to time. It's one of those places that you have to go to every couple of years, like like Las Vegas. Like, you know, I, I like to repeat them every couple of years. And um, George Bratt, thank you so much for that super chat. We love your videos. Can you sing riding in my RV wherever I want to be? Alto voltaje. Saludos, Robert. Lo mejor para ti, amigo. Excelente tu trabajo y tu carisma. Muchas gracias, alto voltaje. High voltage. And uh, hello, America's Pastor Travels. And uh, Patty Henry, hey Robert, love your videos. We have a, a, the, the Blue Angels flying over here in Phoenix today. Wish you were here to video it with your drone. Uh, I doubt they will let me fly the drone while the Blue Angels are flying out there, but you never know. Uh, Neon Pony, where are you going in June, Robert? Well, that's that's kind of like the new travel plan that I, that I'm that I'm working on, and I have two versions: uh, Plan A and Plan B. Both of them, I'm going to go through Georgia, of course, and uh, probably I'll, I'll go to the Grand Canyon of Georgia and then the, the 
Cloudland uh, State Park. And then from there, uh, uh, still I'm going to go into the Kansas City area and um, Des Moines uh, uh, and, and probably Des Moines, Iowa. I don't know exactly. Um, but then I don't know. There, there are two paths that I can take. Uh, it's always going to be like going, uh, it's going to be a round loop, right? I, it, going through North Dakota into into Glacier National Park or going south. And what I was thinking from Kansas uh, City area, going to the, the Tall Grass Prairie National Preserve, I think it is called, and then make a beeline for Colorado. And because I've, I've never taken that route and I want to I wanna experience that, that transition between the Great Plains and all of a sudden you see the, the, the Rocky Mountains in front of you. I would love to see that. And um, let me let me answer a couple more questions here and then uh, uh, then I'll, I'll, I'll have a map of that trip. This traveler, I've sent an instant message to Traveling Robert about the date issue. I'm afraid this chat is going super fast for him to keep up. Date wrong. Alex Alex Cruz also sent me a text. You know what? I, I put this thing on on, on silent, and um, <laughs> but I guess uh, well I already fixed it. So um, okay, let me let me go down here real quick. I'm skipping IPA today. Okay, did this reset? Let me let me go back. Let me go back here because I'm missing some super chats. I'm missing lots of super chats, and I'm sorry about that. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. The Accessible uh, Traveler. Thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, greetings from Central Florida. Your videos are beautiful. Thank you for all the hard work. And you're very welcome on Central Florida. Uh, one of these days I have to... Well, of course, I'm, I'm going to go back as as I depart on the, on the next uh, uh, big trip. Um, our, our Bernardine 622... Thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, hello, Robert. This is my first live chat. Well, welcome, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. And even though sometimes I take a long time to, to answer the, the messages, and I, I'm sorry, I these days I am uh, unable to, to read most of them. Um, uh, we have a lot of fun here every Friday. Uh, can you say hello to my wife, Patty? Hello, Patty. And uh, we are from Southern California. Hope my test is negative. I hope so too. And um, you sent me an email, didn't you? Yes. Uh, Theresa Hampels, thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. Kimberly Jones, uh, Zazalki, Zakali, Zakali, I guess. <laughs> thank you so much for that super chat. Hi, Robert. Your live streams are the highlights of mine and my husband's Fridays. Having a Goose Island. Oh, I love those. Goose Island next uh, Coast IPA with you. Salud. 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 By the way, salud everybody. Kimberly and everybody else here in the chat tonight. All 543 of you. Okay, let me see here. Okay, RV Weekends. Uh, Traveling Robert, we really enjoy your Saturday night concerts. They're also my fun. Thank you. Uh, by the way, tomorrow I might do one more concert, concert. Last week, as I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned that, I wasn't really f feeling up to it. So um, no uh, no uh, concert last uh, Saturday. But this Saturday, if to, if tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'm, I'm feeling up to it, I'm going to do it. And uh, most likely I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, yeah, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, um, Matt's RV reviews does have a good review channel. Robert, is that a hazy IPA? It's a session, it's a session IPA. I mean, my eyesight, and since I don't have the, uh, the other lights on, it's kind of hard to see. But it doesn't say hazy, but it is, it is, it is kind of hazy, as you can see. Oh, Paul Falsi is here. Paul Falsi, CLT, have two concords for sale at your price range. I don't know how to contact you. Facebook censored me so bad I had to leave the platform. <laughs> oh, brother. Hey, Paul Falsi, good to see you here, man. I have to, I have to stop by, by your neck of the wood, woods there in, um, in eastern central Florida. And uh, did I miss any super chats? I sure did. I have to... Okay, I, this one I saw... And uh, then Daniel Ruiz, Daniel Ruiz, um, uh, what's your favorite bar in the Keys? Oh man, you know, whenever there's room at El Maison de Pepe, 
in Key West, that, that right there with the salsa music playing uh, um, right next to you, and the sunset, you know, sun setting on Mallory Square right there. You know, it's hard to beat. Um, that's one of my favorite bars, definitely, absolutely. And um, Jackie Trujillo, uh, hi, Robert, why don't you make a new merchandise of a magnet for an RV? Yes, I'm, I'm going to make magnets soon. I have to, yeah, I just have to, have to look for for uh, for a good supplier. If you want to camp in Georgia State Parks, you had better reserve now. We can get space at, I know that the oldest, uh, I was able to make a reservation at a Florida State Park. Florida State Parks is make is is, uh, is uh, after the 16th, May 16th, uh, they're doing reservations. I'm, and I'll, I'll do a reservation, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a way. Uh, Please, everyone prays for my mom. She's sick with cancer. I'm sorry, Rachel. Um, I'm sorry about that. And okay. Um, here we go. Uh, George Brat, thank you so much for that super chat. Can you say hi to George and Barbara and Wade? Hey, George, Barbara and Wade. Uh, thank you for being here. And um, Bernie from Arcadia. All right. Arcadia, Florida. Uh, I have to get back to that area. And David Lee. Thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, can you wish my grandma Mary a happy birthday, grandma Mary? Happy birthday to you. A hundred, huh? Wow. Don't we all wish we, we, we make it to a hundred? And um, okay, let me let me let me read some of the chat here. Oh, I got a new super chat here from Nilam Pony. Thank you so much for that super chat. Please say hi to Kamal, Kamhal, Kamhal. Also growing a cactus for you. A nice you can eat. This IPA is on us. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, when the hill comment. See, I see him when, when the comment is on in caps most of the time. Sometimes. Uh, Low Ved, uh, the Yellowstone episodes. I grew up in that area. Loved the, the, the Yellowstone episodes. I grew up in that area. And you traveled every road I have. Been long time since I was there. Your segments were outstanding. Thank you so much. I really loved uh, uh, that area. Uh, let me get to Jim here real quick. Good news, uh, you and your friends at Robert is here. Fruit stand now open, but only as a drive through Something new they have given uh, to so many in Miami lately. Yeah, and um, yeah, I don't think anything is open in Florida yet, is it? Especially not in South Florida. The Accessible Traveler, thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, where did you get the graphics on your RV from? Um, it's um, carstickers.com. That's the same company that I use for the for the stickers that I sell, and uh, they they work well and they last a long time. It's not what some of these stickers that they fade uh, in the sun, and, and and if they don't fade in the South Florida sun, you you know they're they're good. So um, <clears throat> comment, excited to hear your live set tomorrow. Questions, song request, can you play "Driving to the East"? Going home, thank you, absolutely. I have, I have to practice, you know. Uh, Shalene Sh Slack. Shalene Slack. Thank you so much for that super chat. Hello from Minnesota. What do you use for a uh, generator? Uh, we have a hideout travel trailer. Well, I have two, and I try not to use them, but because they're both kind of loud. I have the... I have the Westinghouse 2500, the i2500. That, that I like because it's very, it's, it's very lightweight. Although... It is uh, it is very manual. It doesn't have like a like a like an electric start or remote start or anything like that. But it, it's 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 lightweight and uh, it runs the AC with the with the micro air soft start. Which by the way, uh, promo code my RV if you want to get it and you get a discount. And the the other one that I have is that Champion thirty five or thirty two hundred or thirty five hundred. Which is it's very heavy, but it is it is a, it is a very good generator too. They're both loud. Uh, I might get a, a Honda at some point. I don't know. Reniel Gonzalez, my wife and I. Thank you so much for that super chat. My wife and I love the mojitos at El Mesón de Pepe. Yeah, so do I. So do I. 
And they, they probably sold a couple of mojitos because of me, right? Uh, Jenny Goiton, hi Robert, so happy that I found you uh, and your amazing videos. Have you ever driven on the tail of the Dragon Road? Yes, I have, I have. And the memory card on the camera, I lost it. But I've been there. It's 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 uh, that series that I did in, in fall of 2017, perhaps, that I went to the, to the Smoky Mountains and all that. Uh, Goombas, thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, cheers to you and all the Pelican heads. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And the Nick Sutton, Sutton uh, thank you so much for that super chat. Happy Friday from West Michigan, which is, which is an area that I have to, uh, have to visit uh, at some point. <clears throat> uh, Frank and Ruth in Las Vegas. Are you coming to Vegas? I w I'm, I might, I might, but uh, it's not in the plan for this year, to be honest. It's not in the plan, but you never know. Besides, Las Vegas, it looks like Las Vegas is going to be closed for, for a good while, I think. Uh, uh, Mary Callen, you need a Honda generator? They're so quiet. Yeah, I, I, I stayed. I don't know if you saw that video. You probably did. Or in the Oregon video. I saw. I, I, I stayed at the Harvest Host at the Blue Heron uh, Cheese Factory. And the guy next to me had a, the big Honda. It's like the, the $3,000. It's, it's like $3,000 too, by the way. It's, it's expensive. But that thing was like like an idling car. It, 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 was, it was quieter than, a, than, a, than an idling truck. A diesel truck for sure so uh, yeah it's uh, they're, they're amazingly uh, quiet Harlem world boy thank you so much for that super chat having a Presidente beer on you Robert thank you so much I like Presidente beer actually and uh, I like the ones that you can get in the in the island actually in the Caribbean I have never been to the Dominican Republic but I've been to Puerto Rico and I went to Puerto Rico and I ordered Presidente beer and it, it does taste better down there for some reason. Uh, are you going to see the annular solar eclipse June 10, 2021? I don't know. I don't. I didn't even know about it. Where is it? I'm going to research. I would love to see it. Annular, of course, is not as dramatic as a total. And, uh, and of course, I have that 2024 date uh, in mind as well. And uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. please come to New York State in the future. Just make sure you bring your mom too. All right, I'll tell mom. And uh, are you going to make any trip to the Keys this year? If they open them up before I go on my on my before June, I will. But most likely, the Keys are going to stay uh, closed. Uh, close to visitors for the whole month of May. Brandon Stargell, hey Robert. We got the last site for Memorial Day weekend at Camp Golf. Got lucky. No beach front, but pull through and a few rows back. Hey, but it's still Camp Golf, right? And uh, and the beaches are open. I don't know if they're open, like, they can swim in the water, but I know they're open, like, uh, for you to walk on the beach. I don't know if by then they're going to be, like, fully open. Uh, uh, we missed you uh, Saturday. What happened last Saturday? I I, I wasn't I wasn't feeling really up to it. Uh, but this to tomorrow, I'm probably gonna do another concert, most likely, on the on that other channel. I'll I'll put a link. Uh, I live about 20 minutes from the Golden Road in at Water Village, Los Angeles. Great spot for my dad. And, okay, cool. Uh, comment hello from Asheville again but a micro mini because of you I have to tell them I sent you and uh, <laughs> thank you for the beautiful videos you're very welcome and uh, and uh, what IPA do you drink this is what we're having uh, tonight uh, Robert because of your videos Ke Kevin Sanford uh, uh, after virus ends I'm driving down to Florida from New York City my new Hyundai Tucson you're amazing oh, thank you thank you and uh, when will you be back on the road? Uh, I have a reservation the last weekend of June at a Florida State Park. And, you know, Ili and I, we're just going to, you know, spend the weekend there, see what's happening. Um, Eclipse is in Ontario, Canada. I'm going to see if I can make it up there uh, in June 2021. Although June 2021, I'm going to be, uh, hopefully, if all goes well, I'm going to be in Alaska. Uh, how about a free my RV spare tire cover? That would be cool. That would be cool to to have. Yeah. And G, actually, for like I could sell those. Uh, G Young, uh, thank you so much for that super chat. We're a full timing since last July. You inspired us. Well, congratulations and thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, um, the 
Uh, Brandon, they told us uh, only rule for now is social distancing with uh, non-family members. Okay, that's good. I guess Northern Florida is, is, is not as bad as South Florida. South Florida is like, well, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I never had Cuban coffee. Uh, however, I just bought a stovetop espresso pot and, and Naviera Cuban style dark roasted coffee. Gonna make it tomorrow. Do you have any advice? Um, don't drink it all in one gulp <laughs> because it is very strong. Uh, Todd Martins, thank you so much for that super chat. Ordering your CD. Say hi to my family in Kansas City. Hello, family in Kansas City. Sorry, I'm not going to make it as, as quickly as I was going to, but, uh, as, as the plan went, but... I'll make it. I'll make it my way there at some point. Wendy Hill, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you for producing such amazing travel shows. Keep on traveling on the on traveling, Robert. We love you from New Mexico and uh, man, New Mexico. I want to. I want to head back there. I want to go back there. There's there's a very nice vibe in New Mexico. Uh, so excited to travel in my in new E250. All right. Uh, happy travels. But worse is the rum. You know, I've never been a big rum drinker. Um, if anything, I would like a, I'd like a good, like a añejo, you know, a good Zacapa Centenario, 21 years or 23 years, whatever it is. So some of those dark rums, like really, really uh, aged, those are, um, some of those are amazing. It's like cognac, almost. Um uh, all the parks and national parks are closed. Can people still walk in the park when it is closed? I know a friend of mine drove into Zion last weekend. Uh, and um, he said, you can drive. Elda Sanchez, saludos de tu familia de Georgia. Saludos, saludos a la familia de Georgia. Elda, Pepito, Joe, Cristina, everybody, Elda, las niñas. And uh, Eve and Jackie and everybody in Georgia. Saludos, hope to see you soon. And... Uh, and the Lucky Duck Productions the moderator. Uh, I'm also buying a dual dash cam. I, I, I would like. I would like to get one of those dual dash cams. I don't know. Uh, a second spare tire cover. I can't believe somebody hasn't come up with that already. Hmm. I'm gonna see uh, where where I can uh, if I can find a supplier that that they can build them. But I don't want to have inventory, you know, because there are so many sizes. Things like like t-shirts and, and and that kind of thing that you have to have a lot of inventory. I don't want to have. Uh, I I rather have somebody else. Hey, Rachel Telerico, thank you so much for that super chat. Rum is the best. Yeah, I like rum inside a mojito, but rum by itself sometimes it can be a little. Um, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, it's, it's spending so much time indoors, sometimes it's it's bad. Uh, love from India, would love to RV one day. Hello in India. Uh, Ab Abhi Kumar and Marlene Learning, uh, say hi to my husband Carl. Hey Carl in Florida. And Bernie Contreras, so Roberto, domestic violence is on the rise. Please mention viewers to remain calm soon. Yeah, everybody, this too shall pass. I know uh, domestic violence and lots of bad things are happening i'm telling i mean it's it can be easy uh, you know it's in my in my case you know my life hasn't really changed all that much because when i'm in miami i i, I don't really do all that much i spend you know the days here uh, working but the inability to be able to to go on a trip that that's what's kind of frustrating me a little bit especially lately but um now you know it, it's it's uh, at some point things will go back to uh, normal or the new normal, whatever the new normal is, and uh, we'll be all right, I suppose. Uh, right now, all the parks, uh, uh, national park, uh, clothes and people. Okay, I, I already read that one. I'll just repeat it. Neil and Pony, thank you so much for that new super chat, Robert. You ever thought of getting double walled growler for your craft brew adventures? That would be good. I have, I have like, I have a collection of growlers somewhere there around here that I'm gonna have to throw away eventually because I have no room for them. But I have like, at some point, whenever I went to a brewery, I, got, I grabbed one of those growlers. Maybe, maybe I will. The Kenneth Reader, thank you so much for that super chat from Palm Desert, California. Nice area. I like that Palm Desert area, and uh, of course, I, I stayed in La Quinta. Uh, oh gosh, it's been over two years. But yeah, 
Uh, Robert Hubbard, thank you so much for that super chat. Cheers. See you at Mini Tini Lounge. That will be tomorrow. Yes, cheers to you guys. Uh, it would be interesting for me if for me for you to travel the underground railroad ar- r- along the Ohio River. The stories are amazing. That would be cool. That would be cool. There's so many things that that um, are kind of unknown. Um, uh, we could talk about recycling. Oh, about the, the growlers? Yeah, sure. Maybe maybe I can sign them and sell them or something. Or just give them away. I mean, I'm not going to sell them. <laughs> Unless they have beer inside. Jim, uh, sure. I have you covered on the order fulfillment uh, per our past conversations. We will talk uh, later about that in more detail if you wish. Yeah, sure. And um, uh, Christopher Joyce, thank you for your videos. Uh, thank you, thank you for that super chat. Uh, thanks you for your videos. Uh, enjoy them, I'm, and I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad, man. And uh, uh, what about Angle Inlet? Um, as, as, uh, if by the time I'm in North Dakota. Or northern uh, Minnesota. If by that time, by that time, the Canadian order uh, order border is open, I'll go to Ang- uh, Angle Inlet. Otherwise, uh, it'll have to be 2021. And uh, what is Minitini Lounge? Minitini Lounge is the, the the concert that I've been doing uh, on and off on, on on Saturday. So my other channel that's gonna be on my Robert Morales channel. Check it out. Uh, you know, uh, subscribe to that, that that other channel and click click the bell so you get notified. And Mario Emiela, greetings from Germany. Hello, Germany, Deutschland. I'm Fabio Morales and John Chucker from Waterbury, Connecticut. Hello there. I was wondering how you were doing. And how you are feeling? I liked how you replayed one of your videos this week. It was really cool. Yeah, that that's um, I did I did a, what YouTube calls it a premiere, and it, I I did a combination of both, and, and nobody liked no no some people didn't like that I did that, but I made a combination video of both, uh, uh, Grand Teton and Yellowstone, because to be honest, those two national parks should be visited together. I mean, why wouldn't you? They're like less than an hour apart. So yeah, Courtney Smith. Thank you so much for that super chat. Hi, Robert. Can you give a birthday shout out to my boyfriend, Matt? Hey, Matt. He turns 25 today. Your videos and IPAs have been getting us through the quarantine. Well, thank you and happy birthday, dear Matt. Happy birthday to you. And I have a message from CLT here. You can click on the super chat bubble just above the chat. So you don't miss any. Oh. Oh, I'll be darned. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that. This seems like such an obvious thing, right? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, uh, Alex. Um, oh, brother. Do you have a video of a trip along the Mississippi R- River? Not not yet. Not yet. But uh, uh, I might do the Great River Road at some point. I, I've seen the Mississippi at, at, at different spots along the along the Mississippi, the southernmost being New Orleans, the northernmost being uh, Minneapolis. But um, mm, uh, AR, I like your food and music. What programs do you use to create the videos and music? Well, the music I do with Logic Pro X, and that's uh, on, only on the Mac. That's the one reason why I keep a Mac. And I'm, pr- I'm probably going to get a new Mac soon because this one is k- kind of... Um, but it works really well. And for the videos, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro on a PC and on a Dell PC. And that's, um, yeah, that's what I do. Uh, Dylan Reynolds, uh, what was your original plan for 2021? It was actually Europe, believe it or not. Uh, I, I was going to do Europe, like maybe in land in Madrid, rent an RV, go down to the south, Costa del Sol, maybe uh, maybe a uh, Valencia, Barcelona, so- southern France, like um, that, that area, um, and maybe make it even all the way to, to Italy. But, you know, that, that might be 2023, 2024. Radu Stufrak! Uh, good evening, Robert from New Brunswick. Uh, great to see you. We're running low on Cafe Bustelo here in Canada. What microphone are you using right now? This is my old uh, Audio Technica. I've had this thing for almost 20 years 
and I decided to bring it back. It, it, I don't know how it's sounding right now here because I had to I had to do some tricks to to make it. I mean, the level was low for some reason, and right now I see that I'm overmodulating from time to time. But it 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 is much cleaner uh, when I'm doing voiceovers. That that other five fine is great, and it looks great with the with the blue light. But it does have a little bit of of uh, the the noise floor sometimes. It's like it's, it's like with with every sometimes a dirty USB. Uh, if if it is not well isolated, you get some interference with, from the electronics, and that's what it is. The Lost RVers! finish your Grand Teton story about your friend. My head, my my head that way next week. No, my friend, uh, what he did, he, he was able to drive through Zion. All the trails are closed. Everything is closed. He was able to camp at a campground in the in the town right outside Zion. And then they were able to, to drive into the park. But uh, the, the trails are, were still closed at the time. And this was last weekend. It traces channel. If you go by boat, it is called the Great Loop. That's correct. And that's what the uh, Technomadia folks are doing. Uh, Donald Hubs from the Philippines. I'm telling you, uh, we we have a we have an international audience. I am from Barcelona, J. A. M. Corral, and uh, I have been to Barcelona only. Um, I, I've been twice to Barcelona actually, but the last time it was I was too short. It was too short a time. We had a great time. Uh, oh, I got so drunk in the Ramblas. Uh, it's been a while since then. <laughs> But the first time I went was in 1988. I, 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 that was at the time when I was uh, living in, in Spain. Uh, Andy, thank you, thank you. That I'm glad the microphone sounds good. And uh, Andy Barley, uh, Robert, how things in Miami? Uh, originally from Tallahassee, Florida, you need to make a song driving to the south. I know. I have driving to the east, driving to the west. Now I'm going to make one driving to the south. Maybe when I come back from from the, the, from the northeast. Um uh, Swell Marinel, uh, hola Robert, we just got our RV today. Oh, congratulations! And placed uh, your sticker on it, and we're already playing traveling rubber music hits. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, it sounds full, clear, and professional. Sounds uh, sounds good. All right, uh, thank you. And uh, are you thinking of hauling a motorcycle or bike? Maybe a bike. I'm, I'm thinking maybe at some point. Uh, but the thing with the, these trailers, both Minitini one and two. Is the thing that uh, that 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 rear bumper is designed only for like a hundred pounds, and the, the new ones, this new trailer has like a like a sticker that my original one did it by a sticker. If you replace anything else on this bumper, you void the warranty. This and that, so it's uh, they're, they're really serious about you not putting anything else on that rear bumper except the spare tire. So we'll see. Uh, Frank Scherfi, we just watched your Norway video. I've never, you've never, find, I've never wanted to go to Europe, but it sure looks amazing. Yeah. And, um, okay, what's the number of the IPA que bebes? Mi esposo y yo compramos una que se llama Lagunita, pero no nos gustó. ¿Cuál tú compras? Por favor, gracias. And, um, well, el IPAs, hay muchas. Uh, Lagunitas es una de las mejores. And, and they're asking like, different types of IPAs, of course. And um, I mean, today I'm drinking this one. This one I don't. It's nah, I'm not too crazy about. I like Lagunitas. I like Cigar City, uh, High Ally. You know, uh, uh, one of my favorite is uh, Dogfish Head 90 Minute uh, uh, um, Double. Uh, no, this uh, not Double IPA. It's uh, Alejandro Aguilera. Thank you so much for that super chat. Eh, saludos desde Cicero, Illinois, para la por la familia Aguilera. Saludos desde Miami. Muchas gracias. Thank you. And the Lost Star Viewers, Carl Ruth Peg and Wife. Hello there, escaping. Thank you for that super chat. Escaping NorCal, going north. I feel like a fugitive. Hey, just, just go in the middle of the night. And by the time you get to Oregon, you know, that's it. <laughs> Uh, when it's safe to travel again, can't wait to go uh, to Bear Mountain State Park in New York. I haven't been there, Adam, and uh, but I I, I want to go to the uh, oh how do you pronounce the the, the Ad Adrianax? No, that's not. You know what I mean. Uh, probably this fall. Sharon Preston. Hello, of course I met Sharon and, and her husband at Quartzite. Uh, 
was it two years no, two years ago or was it last year last year right hello Robert from Pace Florida are you going to make it to Quartzsite Arizona in January maybe we can get together again we might even be able to find a better restaurant ah, that wasn't all that bad they didn't have IPAs but um, yeah um, I'm that's the plan that's the plan and hopefully by then Ely can do the, do the trek with me and uh, yeah but the plan is in January unless the coronavirus comes back so whatever happens but if, it, if, 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 if travel is uh, possible, uh, we're going back to Quartzsite. No RTR, no nothing like that. Just Quartzsite a couple of days there in the desert. And then we'll probably, you know, explore all the other good stuff that is in the area. And Girl Driver, thank you so much for that super chat. Thanks for all you do. There's a group meeting at Cloudland Canyon, Georgia, June 4th through 7th, if you're in the area. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, um, Savannah welcomes you. You know, I, I really like Savannah, Georgia. It's one of my favorite cities, and I haven't been there in a while. And uh, what happened, the, the few times I've been in Savannah, and it's been like three or four by now, I've been either working or in a hurry, so I haven't been able to like like sample the local cuisine all that much. And all that. So um, uh, I would think that Stardust Dust by North High is on the top of yes, of course. Uh, Stardust by by the North High in uh, from Columbus, Ohio. It's also one of my favorite IPAs. Uh, not easy to get. Not not very easy to get outside of Ohio, though. That's why I was mentioning more like the the, the more mainstream ones, if you will. Um, uh, arts, artsy stamper Robert George and I are binging your 2019 summer trip. We got a truck and named it Big White. We still will start our VNA ASAP. Uh, we can get a travel trailer. Yeah, happy trails to you guys. And uh, um, uh, black flies, no deal. And that's why I'm not gonna go to that area in the spring. The only Corona I want is the name of the beer. Yeah, I don't even like Coronas all that much, but yeah. It's, um, CLT, what about a roof rack for your bike? You can take, uh, I, I can take a look for you. A roof rack on the truck? That could work. Also, in the in the in Minitini one, you know, the, there's no uh, battery in the front, so they, they have a, like a, like a, an area there that I could perhaps use uh, to, to put a bike. So... Uh, yeah, Omar Hernandez, thank you so much for that super chat. What's your favorite restaurant in Miami, La Carreta or Versailles? Between the two, I'd probably take Versailles. Uh, I think the food is a little better, but neither of them would be like the best. Um, uh, I don't know, there, there, there are many and I can't think of one right now. Uh, but there are many new places too, let me tell you. Um, uh, you know, Ili and I, whenever we, and that's one of the biggest things we miss about these times where we cannot go out. Sometimes, you know, we would uh, on a on a on a on a on a random weekend night, we would call an Uber and go to Casa Juancho. We go to the bar. They have a guy there singing and playing the piano. We'd have a couple of either a bottle of wine or a couple of glasses of scotch and uh, some tapas and yeah. They don't have IPAs at Casa Juancho, I don't think. Um, uh, okay, where were we? Andy Barley. Uh, hi, Robert. Andy again. What did you think about the Daytona Brewing Beach Company? It was good. It was good. Uh, that night they had some kind of trivia night or something the night that I was there. So it was kind of loud and... Uh, the service wasn't perhaps all that great, but the beers were good. And I know Lucky Dog, uh, Lucky Dog, uh, he he um, he likes that place. I mean, that, that's what we did the, the first. Actually, was that was probably the first uh, real meetup, and uh, I had a great time. We'll have, I have to go back to the Daytona area, and um, and what was a little further north from there. Um, I stayed at that state park. And Paul Falsey is from around there too. Yeah, I, I need to. I need to. Yeah, the Rachel Savannah, best city ever. I I, I I agree. It's a great. It has that that southern, you know, uh, um, uh, um, charm. 
uh, although although Charleston, uh, South Carolina, it's it's a good competition. It's giving it a run for its money when it comes to that Southern charm. National PT, thank you so much for that super chat. And uh, Lucky Dog, Andy, Barley, we had a meetup. Okay, there you go. Um, Omar, uh, when are you finishing summer 2019? I can't find episode 33. Thanks, and I love your shows. No, that, that stuff, and, and I'm trying to work ahead a little bit. Uh, so when I depart at the end of June, uh, you know, I have like three or four episodes. Um, I know that the members and the patrons uh, have already seen up to Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, and right now I'm working on, on Minnesota, on Minneapolis, which is, it's, I started it today. And it's one of those things, it, it, beginning, beginning the video, you know, since it's been so long since I was there, I kind of forgotten certain things. So I have to like go through all the video you know, see what the, the plan is. And um, and the, the Dan, the Vintage RVer, thank you so much for that super chat. Change of plans for calls for trying out some new IPAs. Be safe and well, my friend. Cheers. Thank you so much. And one of the things that I'm going to miss, I don't know how many things are going to be open now if, if when I depart in, in June, which is going to be the, the actual real departure date. You know, with the social distances and all that, are they going to have like only like two, one or two chairs at the bar at these places? I don't know. Uh, have you come with lots of, from Mary Callan? Have you come up with lots of great recipes for the cooking show during this time? I have. I have come up with, with a couple of good recipes that I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do on the instant pot. Actually, I have. A, I have. I have done some cool things on the instant pot. By the way, this traveler, thank you. Thank you for uh, advert, uh, advertising, I guess is the best word, right? The the, the concert uh, tomorrow. I haven't scheduled it yet, but it's going to be probably at 6 Eastern. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of everything. And that will be a, tomorrow, 6.49 p.m., 667 of you watching. I'm telling you, that's... that's uh, um, uh, Alan Chitwood, have you, do you like pupusas? I haven't had pupusas. A, in a long time, but I used to like them. A, Goombas, yeah, last time I was in a bar was St. Patty's Day, Crystal River. I think by St. Patty's Day, everything was kind of shut down uh, down here. I don't know. So, uh, planning to go to the Hershey RV show? Uh, that's the plan. That's the plan so far. We'll see if there, if there is a Hershey RV show. Mo S, hey, Robert, love your videos. You see this. I hope I, you wouldn't mind saying hello to my brother, Haru. Hello, brother Haru. Or hey, Haru. Haru? Is that, that how you pronounce it? And um, and the cheers, Don, and AR. No boondocking in BLN or Forest Land. No boondocking. Uh, Steve, okay. Driven through the rabbit ears passing Colorado. Not yet. But I might uh, this this coming trip. Uh, Steve uh, Steve Kramer, Robert, my family and I live just two miles from Cam River Canyon in Bakersfield, Kern River Canyon in Ber Bakersfield. We have enjoyed traveling during shelter at home via your videos. Uh, great show, thank you so much. And I do have to go back to that area and um, and go to the to, all the way to the end of the canyon, which I didn't. Um, Uh, Ruth Stevenson, it would be fun to see you play your guitar and sing in some of your videos. Yeah, uh, up until the last trip, I never traveled with the guitar with me, so that's probably one of the reasons why. But I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can incorporate that into the videos as well. National PT, hey Robert, our trip to Acadia National Park in Maine was canceled because of the coronavirus. Have you been? Have you ever been? Is if so, any recommendations from when we reschedule? I was there, but I was there for such a short period of time, and weather didn't cooperate and. Uh, it's one of those places that I have to go back and uh, and do a proper video of Acadia. Um, at some point. Uh, Thomas McKill. Uh, hello, Robert from New York. Uh, the mountains in upstate New York are the... Uh, uh, I can never pronounce that. Uh, uh, Adirondacks. Adirondacks? Adirondacks. Adirondacks. That's where I'm going this fall. Uh, Lake George area. Hope to see you there. 
Uh, Mike Diaz, uh, wait, I'm late. What's the change of plans? Well, you, you guys probably knew already what the change of plans was, and that is that I'm not going to Alaska. Uh, we're going to do something else in the lower 48, and uh, we'll go to Alaska next year if possible. <clears throat> And uh, oh, Luisa G, thank you so much for that super chat uh, for the mini teeny lounge tip jar tomorrow. Thank you so much. Oh man, this beer is growing, it's growing on me, growing on me. Uh, Mayday, Mayday, yeah, that's today, isn't it? Uh, have you ever thought about spending a week in Bermuda Island? I would love to go to the Bermudas. Our family went on a cruise to Bermuda a long time ago, and it was an amazing trip. Yeah, it's it's, uh, and I've heard it's not like a tropical island like people would think. It's a, uh, it's a temperate climate, and uh, you know, it, it 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 will be hard for you to tell me uh, of a place that I uh, that I wouldn't want to go to. <laughs> Uh, HD Lowrider, your Billy Joel songs are excellent, as well as the ones in Espanol. Look forward to tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, Adirondacks. 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 I'll, 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 I'll learn how to speak one of these days. <laughs> and Nelson Alonso from West Kendall, just a strong t stone throw away from here. Uh, Tracy's uh, channel, yes, it would be a lot of fun to hang out around the campfire and have Robert uh, with, with his guitar. Uh, we'll do one of these days. Uh, no, Dylan, I do not know the song Closer by the Chainsmokers. I'm sorry. Uh, Rafael Perez, regards, my friends, regards to you. Brandon Stargell, uh, uh, I got hungry kids hounding me. Gotta go. Had a great, have a great weekend, everyone. See you at the Mini Tiny Lounge. See you tomorrow there. And uh, Tony, Tony C, living free on his bike, has a good ring to it. Living free on his bike. Thank you, Pauly Berry and IR. Hello. And Sound Chaser. Oh, I'm, I'm catching up with the chat here. No, not anymore. Did you enjoy visiting Devil's Tower? Would love to get there and Idaho also. Who knew the what a great area that is? Uh, thanks for showing us. You're welcome. Yeah, Idaho. Um, I was pleasantly surprised, and um, and even Iowa. You're gonna find. You guys are gonna find out. And I was in Iowa for a very short period of time, but it's like, uh, it's 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 pretty. Um, have you done any upgrades to the new trailers? Uh, well, but Michael Michael Darden. Be, be, besides what they did for me, you know, they, they were like I, I was pleasantly surprised. You know, I I had this list of things that I wanted them to 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 hook me up with, and they did. I put a mirror at the bath the bathroom door. I put a bunch of hooks. I put a uh, an oxygenics uh, shower head. I uh, what that well I put a place to hang uh, like the hangers, the, like the one that I have right next to the bed. I, um, today I added two uh, paper towel holders. Um, I, I still need to fix the bathroom curtain, which is a little too long, and I gotta put some some Velcro on the one side. I I uh, what else did I do? Well, I, I've done a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, command hooks. Um, do do do. No Kansas in our Geo Pro. All right, Geo Pros, they're, they're nice. And uh, Traveling Robert, you want to mention your new channel? Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm the worst with when promoting my own stuff. Right? I started a new channel, uh, which is, has one video only right now, but it's good. I'm going to start posting more videos there. And uh, CLT put the link there. It's called the Living the RV Dream Podcast. And what I'm gonna do whenever I do a podcast that has an interview or a video portion, I'm gonna I'm gonna post those videos there, and I don't put them in this channel for one reason only. I mean, in the, those videos kind of do poorly uh, in this channel for some reason, you know. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to like regular travel videos and this Friday chats on this channel. That's why I don't do music in this channel. I don't do podcast interviews, and um, and I'm gonna keep doing the occasional review. But uh, not too many of those either. Uh, GVD1974, hello, Robert. Have you uh, have you got plans to visit Europe after the COVID epidemic? Great videos. Greetings from Hamburg. And uh, yes, uh, 2022 probably is going to be the, the, the Europe year. At one one day, someday, Ili and I want to do the Camino de Santiago, like the, 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 the way of St. James, you know, El Camino. 
which is it's like a month walking from France all the way to to Santiago de Compostela in in Galicia in Spain. Irving Gonzalez, thank you so much for that super chat. Hey Robert, can you wish my girlfriend Cynthia a happy birthday? Happy birthday, dear Cynthia. Happy birthday to you. And. Uh, Logic Neo, I like those letters that you came up with. Thank you so much for that super chat. Any plans on another Michigan trip, Picture Rock? I might not do Picture Rocks again. I mean, I'm, I'm going to do them someday, but if I go back to Michigan, I'm, I want to explore the rest of Michigan that I didn't see. Probably the, the, the Mitten area more than the UP. But who knows? Uh, but uh, de definitely I plan to, I plan to uh, do Michigan at some point later this year. But hey, no, not sure that, that that's it, it. It since I already added Michigan to the map, is it's not like a number one priority of places that I want to go to. But definitely, I want to go. I want to go to the the Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes. So some places in the in the in the in the is it called the Lower Peninsula, the Mitten, right? A Red Jaguar 100 travels. Uh, about the bike rack idea. Why don't you use a double receiver like you do, like I do with my rig? One receiver tows the car and the other one holds the bike rack. Man, you have to you have to show me. You have to show me uh, or I'll, I'll look it up because that that would be a good idea too. I don't know if it's going to add too much weight to the to the pin weight, but the truck can handle it. Uh, Perro Diablo 57, thank you so much for that super chat. Hey from Tom and Sarah in Grand Prairie, Texas. We are ready to see some beach videos. Fly up again. Well, Florida the beaches are closed, but we'll figure something out. <laughs> Adam Buser, in the name of the large park in New York, is the Adirondacks. Long name, but people say it uh, that way in upstate New York. Jim Woods, uh, love all your travels. We watch all the time. We are heading in, out in a month for our own adventures. Say happy travels. Who else loves when Robert sings in Spanish? Well, you're going to get plenty of that uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, Adirondacks. Uh, by, by, by the end of the, the chat, I'll, I'll learn it. Don't worry. <laughs> when did you start on YouTube? Uh, probably 2007, and that was my other channel, the, the music channel. This channel I started in January of 2011 when I decided uh, maybe uh, you know music is uh, it could be problematic when it comes to copyright, so that's why I did this. Greetings from Aaron Romano from Los Angeles, California. Pretty nice out there out here but starting to get a bit hot what's the weather like in miami on the other side of the country well this morning was unseasonably cool it was like high 60s but uh yeah it's it's gonna it's it's uh, it's it's infernally hot uh, in miami already anthony anthony carreno thank you so much for that super chat favorite restaurant in tampa uh, i like the columbia I like Burns Steakhouse. <laughs> and uh, what's that pl place that I, I found out is by the same owner as uh, as Colombia. It's Ulele Ulele or something like that. I like that place too. Uh, but um, to be honest, I haven't been in in so many, uh, as many restaurants in Tampa as I, you know, to, to make a... a, a uh, I, I really I really like the Colombia. I, I like the, the twist they have be, be, between Cuban and uh, Spanish cuisine. It's very cool. Uh, this traveler, are you leaving? And check out Robert's music channel when you can see him sing in the Mini Tini Lounge. That'll be tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, uh, this uh, Erico for being here. And uh, yeah. Uh, Oscar Alvarado, any suggestions for first micro mini owners? You've inspired me to trade my cur current uh, travel trail for a Winnebago. Well, I mean, if, if, especially if it's used, even if it's new, check everything that everything works correctly, and uh, and you, you'll figure it out. For for the most part, you won't have to do as as much as I did with mine. My first generation micro mini was a different story because it had that uh, water heater, the Atwood uh, OB OB or OD, the OD forty, I think it was, which was no good. But the newer ones are coming with. I mean, this 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 new one that I have is is superior uh, to to Minitini one in, in almost every single way. It, you know, the, the only thing Minitini one I had customized it so much, like for f almost full timing that um, if if I keep Minitini two, 
that uh, that um, what you call it that dinette uh, has to go. Uh, that's good for for having dinner and stuff, but not for for working. Paper City Gamer Jeff, thank you so much for that super chat. Happy Friday, Robert Jeff from. Um, MA Massachusetts, right? I really enjoyed the, the, the Lake Tahoe episode. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you liked that. Uh, Lake Tahoe was fun. And uh, thank you, Roberta Wilkes, for that super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, uh, Jim Kelly, question. As a piano player you are, do you perform, listen, or have ever seen Elton John, Billy Joel in concert? Never live. I, I had I, I wanted to see Billy Joel a couple of years ago when he was here in Miami, but I never never uh, never saw him live. Alfredo Sanchez, thank you so much for that super chat. Hi Robert, we look forward to the day you host a fun RV event weekend. Sign me up if you do, uh, like the RV thing kind of thing. We love you, Alberto and Luz from Massachusetts. And one of these days we might do something like that. We did a we did a rally with Paul Falsi of. Uh, when he did the RV caravan with us thing, and now he has the RV in Paradise Cruiser. But um, yeah, at, at some point, uh, we're gonna do something like that. The Goombas, thank you so much for that super chat. Again, a great interview with the Wendlands. I'm glad to uh, hear that Illy may be joining you next year on the road. I really hope so, fingers crossed, man. And um, the situation on her job is not best right now, uh, you know, but... Um, It'll improve, as usual. Everybody is probably having uh, issues at work at this at this, at this point. Uh, can I say hi to your husband instead? Okay, RV weekends. Uh, traveling, Robert. If you go to Savannah, check out the train museum. It's awesome. I have seen. I have a Savannah. Uh, oh man, Ooh, there's something in here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's awesome the video that captured lots of footage from there. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. Absolutely, Truma is the ultimate in heroes. Yeah, I, I agree. Not because they they just gave me a free one for Minitini too, but uh, uh, even before before I had the the, the ambassadorship and all that, I uh, yeah. Um, Omar Hernandez again thank you for that super chat Robert can you please send a shout out to our first responders here in New York it's 7pm we clap for them and celebrate them uh, for keeping us safe uh, thank you and yeah big shout out to the first responders in New York City I know the situation there is way worse uh, than pretty much anywhere else in the country so um One question, are you making live videos because of uh, COVID-19? No, I've been making live videos for three years, so or more, actually. So, no. Nope. Uh, uh, Red Jaguar. Um, oh, Lucky Dog Productions moderator, Sue. Click on the thumbs up for Robert, everyone. Thank you, Sue. Thank you so much. And uh, Starry-Eyed Earthman. It's on height? I have no idea. Uh, thank you, uh, Adam Buser. <laughs> And the Red Jaguar, uh, uh, she does join you. Mary keeps asking if she's ever going to join us. <laughs> oh, sorry, in Hershey. Hopefully this year, man. Hopefully this year. I really hope so. All right, Dylan. See you at the concert. Scarface with Al Pacino. That's one of my favorite movies, actually. Uh... Jack Meister 305. Hey Robert, greetings from the 305. How many miles do you currently have on the Colorado? About 45 or 46 or so. It's overdue for an oil change. I just haven't. It's it's not overdue. It's due. Like, like. Uh, but probably next week I'll make an appointment. Uh, having, I, you know, I've been trying to get out of the house at least possible, and it's been sitting there for a, for a, for a month. I've had less than an eighth of a tank, uh, you know. A gas tank, and we have a new chief, a new chief Pelican Head Charty. Thank you so much for becoming a chief Pelican Head and Tyron Wicks. Hey, thanks for the Iowa video. You're welcome. I Iowa was a short video, but and by the way, probably the next three or four videos are gonna be short-ish. Not not the you know after Iowa. 
because I did many places, but I didn't do much in, in any of them. And it doesn't feel right to put like Iowa, then Minnesota, then the detour, and then a Milwaukee in, in, in all in one video. I might do like a, a long the Midwest, like a, like a feature film length movie. Uh, but um, same with Michigan. I might do the Upper Peninsula, Mackinac Island, and then the meeting in three different videos and then do one long Michigan video. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Bonnie Richia, thank you so much for that super chat. John Rankin House. Okay. And thank you so much for that other super chat twice. And I have no idea. John Rankin House, uh, Rankin Hill Road, Ripley, Ohio. We'll go. We'll go next time we go to Ohio. And Shannon Eastbrook, thank you so much for that super chat. Hi from Ozark, Missouri. Uh, planning our three day kayak and camp trip on the 11 point river in two weeks if you're ever here we'll meet you for an ipa and and, and one of the two uh, travel plans that i have uh, i might uh, stop by by that area uh, jennifer um, okay greetings from Os oxford england where it's it's pretty late over there uh, did you go to musketing uh, in uh, iowa when you were in iowa no i didn't i didn't the, uh, Iowa basically and don't get your hopes up with Iowa I just did the bridges of Madison County and uh, at the state capital but they're both beautiful uh, and at some point I'll be back to Iowa it's it's uh but I re what I saw I liked and um, and as I say as part of this trip this 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 part of the trip was kind of like an overview I was in a rush I had to be in Ohio for the meetup I had to be in Pennsylvania for the RV show so I did like one of these and checking, you know, like a check mark in every state. And I'm not going to do that anymore. Next time I do this, I'm going to make sure that I see as much as possible uh, the places that I visit. Uh, thank you, uh, Jennifer Young and Kevin Sanford. When you fly Pelican, when you say fly Pelican, I always think of Tony Montana. He said that in his bathtub watching Pelicans. And fun fact, watch the movie. They were not Pelicans. They were Flamingos. And he had lived that phrase at the moment and they liked it so much that they left it uh, uh, the movie was really good also thank you and uh, Roy H which uh, of the two Sony cameras you have would you suggest for using on vacations uh, the AX53 uh, just because it's it's uh, it's a much more a superior camera you can if you if you want to spend a little less money the AX33 is almost the same camera so uh, but yeah, the, the AX53, absolutely. And the FTR AX3000, a starry-eyed man said, yeah, it's, that's my dash cam, but that's like a GoPro. That doesn't, it has great audio, but it doesn't have a... Hey, Robert, what state has impressed you the most in terms of natural beauty? Oh man, it's a toss-up between California, Colorado, and Arizona. I'm thinking here, but yeah, yeah, those three. I mean, there's beauty in many other places, but those would be like the, the if I had to to choose. Uh, I am from uh, Michigan. Check out the Lake Michigan side, the Petoskey, Traverse City, uh, Makina Island. This okay? I went to Makina Island as part of the, this trip that you guys are watching now, and uh, yeah, that, that was, Makina Island was cool. Uh, it was cool. They didn't let me take the RV though. Um, uh, Maria Garcia from Framingham, Massachusetts. All right, thank you. Do you have a real job? This feels real to me. <laughs> uh, but if you mean like a nine to five that I have to go to an office, no, I don't. Uh, free my RV, full life. Come to El Paso, Texas to meet me, my, my stepdad, dad, and mom, and me. One of these days, uh, probably in January, as uh, on, as we go on our way to to Quartzsite, Arizona. Greetings from Prescott, Arizona. I want to visit Prescott. I was watching a, a video about Prescott, Arizona. They know the um, Grand Adventure. He did a Stefano from Italy. I love when you sing. Thank you so much, uh, Stefano. And Italy. One of these days, man. I hope you guys are doing okay there. Adam, in your opinion, what is the most boring state in the high plains to drive in? Besides Florida, which is not in the high plains, but... 
I don't know, that drive from Des Moines to to Minneapolis, it's up there as far as uh, as far as boring drives go. Omar Rodriguez, thank you for that super chat. And uh, okay, uh, have you actually went outside? Ooh, hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with this. Uh, Gil Liz Science Science. Thank you for that super chat. You kept us rolling on the virtual road, Robert. Uh, thank you. Love your videos from El Paso, Texas. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, what's the with the possibility to continue? What do you recommend for summer travels, if any at all? Ah, that's, I, I mean, I don't know. Where, wherever uh, they, they open up, uh, go there. I mean, Texas seems to be opening up. Uh, I would go to, uh, to be honest, uh, Axmed AC, I'm bored. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I wouldn't go to any highly populated areas. I mean, New York uh, probably is out of the question for a while. Uh, even South Florida, the key, you know, areas like areas overly touristy, you know, there's no way to social. If they open Yosemite National Park, there's no way to social distance in there in the valley where everybody's like together. So certain places don't go to Disney. I mean, Disney is going to be uh, pro probably off, off, off limits for a long time. Um, uh, Red Jaguar, wow, over 700 watching and under 200 likes. <laughs> I see 694 now. That's amazing. Sing Robledo. Thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, thanks for making our Fridays fun. Do you plan on visiting Houston again? Absolutely, yes. Um, I don't know when, but I I mean, probably on my way west. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll sample uh, the local cuisine uh, a little more. Uh, can only hit the like button once. Yeah, if you hit it twice, I think it's a, a dislike. No, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, greetings from the Middle East. All right, thank you. Thank you for being here from all over the from all over the world, man. Uh, Max McLear from Arizona. We have we have to we have to go to uh, Arizona, but in the winter because, as you say, today it's 106. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think 106. It's uh, I don't know. Um, uh, many many campgrounds in Cape May County yeah Cape May is definitely in the plans uh, for uh, for later for later this year probably in the fall uh, sorry I lost my train of thought here reading the chat <laughs> ja Jamende State Park next time you're in Iowa you know what happened in Iowa too I, I, I was planning to stay at this particular uh, RV park and I called and they didn't have a, a late check-in when I was, you know, I didn't make any reservations. So, you know, I had to think quickly and I found uh, I found the KOA in Minneapolis and, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to go to Minneapolis and we'll, we'll be back some other day. So, yeah. Uh, Stefano, you are gr great, Robert, the first English speaker who pronounces my name right. Well, you know. What can I tell you? Because uh, I'm not only an English speaker. I, uh, I speak Spanish, and uh, I don't I don't speak Italian, but I can read. If I read it, I can understand the the, the, the gist of it. Uh, you know, I I get like half the words. Uh, Rodolfo Fonte, Robert, pudieras enviarle un saludo a mi hijo Daniel Fonte, con solo 18 años de fan de sus videos. Estamos acá en Jalía. Daniel Fonte, saludos. Cheers. Shout out to Daniel Fontes and uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Being there, I'll be back one of these days. Uh, Axmed AC, you make my day. Thank you, Adam Buser. In Florida, do you live near any hills or mountains? <laughs> uh, you're funny, man. Uh, tallest hill in Florida is, they, they call it Sugarloaf Mountain. It's near Orlando. It's, a, it's in the, the central part of the... It's not the tallest in, in Florida, but it's the tallest in the peninsula. There's this other hill, but it's it's in that part of Florida that should really belong to, to Alabama, really. Up there in the panhandle. So uh, down here, all we have is Mount Trashmore in the Keys, and it's a landfill. Uh, I haven't been to Elko in, in Nevada, not yet. Uh
if you hit like twice it drops your first like there you see I, you, you guys are hitting hitting like uh, it's a 718 wow we keep growing when brewer when when brewers open you need to go to biscayne bay brewery in doral uh, and try my favorite el roble i'm gonna i'm gonna check that out yeah and uh maritele maritel what uh, uh, thank you so much for that super chat uh, thank you for your video stay no thank you for being here and uh, maureen Warsinski, thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, we love your travel videos. We always look forward to seeing your next video. Well, thank you. And uh, and uh, what you call it? Um, um, I totally lost my train of thought. Well, the next video, of course, is going to be a. The Beartooth Mountains, Beartooth Pass, and all that, and uh, and then there's gonna be uh, Devil's Tower, Mount Rushmore, uh, the Badlands, Badlands National Park, and they placed uh, that place that is a wall drugstore that I, I didn't like all that much, but you know, what is the sweetest tasting IPA? I don't know. I don't know. They have some that taste like grapefruit, but uh, I like the, the hoppy ones. Uh, Claudia Liddy, thank you so much for that super chat. Cheers. Thank you. I'm out of IPA, guys. You know what that means? I'm going to start wrapping it up pretty soon here and the tyron wicks uh, thank you so much for that super chat thinking traveling robert and margaritas for cinco de mayo that's gonna be a virtual cinco de mayo maybe maybe i should do like a one, one cinco de mayo is like what tuesday maybe i should do like a mexican party but I, I'm, all, I'm all out of tequila so i don't know we'll figure something out thank you so much naj rukul rukul I can. I'm really bad at this. I might enjoy an IPA on me. Thank you for that super chat. Have you had Blue Moon Mango? No, I haven't. They are great. You should consider doing a microbrewery travel tour video from each state. One of these days. One of these days. Raquel Lander. Yes, Robert has traveled throughout the world. Well, not the whole world, but. Uh, but I've been to to Europe. I've been to Northern Africa ever so briefly. I've never been to South America. Alan Shitwood, traveling Robert. Did you have a formal digital audio production schooling? I did. I did a little bit as part of. Uh, I took radio production in college and uh, TV production, but I learned most of it from an audio engineer. We were re recording with the band. Uh, Raul Rodriguez is his name, and he had a studio, and um, and most of what I learned, you know, I I asked uh, questions when he was recording the band, you know, why are you doing this? Are you the equalizer, this and that, and I learned from from different people, and then I read books, and I've been I I the practical stuff, you know, I I learned uh, by doing, uh, Marzan Worldwide, uh, Robert. Uh, thank you for that super chat. Robert, if you we were, were to emulate travels with Charlie, would you do it in a camper truck? Would you adopt a dog? Thanks, bro. Be well. Um, I would probably do it in a B plus without a dog. But, uh, but I don't know. That's, yeah. I think that that would be me or, or with Minitina trailer in tow. I could do that. And of course, half of the stuff in, in travels with Charlie don't probably many of those things don't exist anymore and i've heard accounts that some of the the things that he mentions in the book is more fiction than 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 reality but hey max mclear thank you for that super chat gotta keep you singing my friend thank you and uh, jesse O, have you uh, tried copper tail or copper tail brewery in tampa florida it sounds really familiar. I probably had it. I probably bought the beers when I was in Tampa. 
but not yet. Raquel Landa Verde, have you ever been to the all the fifty states? No, I haven't step. I haven't set foot yet in North Dakota or Vermont. I've driven through New Hampshire. Actually, I bought I bought a, a, something at the liquor store that they have right at the entrance of the of the uh, of the state, and uh, and then I've driven through Maryland and Delaware, and but I've never done anything in those states. Uh, Rebecca Hernandez, we're in North Africa. Well, I've I've been to this uh, Spanish colony called uh, Ceuta, which is right across the. Uh, it's funny, but because. The, the north uh, uh, the north end of the of the Gibraltar uh, Straits you know going into the Mediterranean becomes to belongs to England even though it's part of Spain but the southern portion even though it's kind of part of Morocco belongs to Spain is that they're both colonies so fun fact there I, I took the, we took the ferry I went with my parents this was in 2001 I went with my parents on that trip and uh, we took the ferry from from Algeciras in Spain. Uh, down to, to Ceuta, uh, which is really part of Spain. It's like a Spanish colony, but it's in Africa. Uh, Don Holloway, thank you so much for that super chat. Cheers. See you next Friday. See you. See you, Don. Thank you for being here. And Rebecca Hernandez, uh, thank you for that super sticker. You know, I haven't been working out as much as I used to. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of dystopian out there. They feel discouraged to go out uh, running. <laughs> Uh, don't end the chat yet. I'm not done eating this ice cream yet. Oh, save save me some. Uh, CLT, will you do another Zoom for the members and patrons? Absolutely. Um, maybe not this week. Maybe next week we can do one, and I'll make sure that that the members get a get a get a link uh, for sure. And uh, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. Um. We visited Ceuta in Africa, Teodoro and Doris Martinez. And uh, girl, the uh, driver, uh, it would be great if you do Cinco de Mayo party. We'll see. We'll see. Cinco de Mayo is what, Wednesday or Thursday? When is it? I had my my calendar here. Cinco de Mayo, Tuesday. We'll see. I'm not promising anything, but uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, Ceuta and Melilla belongs to Spain, but Morocco wants their territory back. Yeah, and Spain wants Gibraltar back from the British, but, you know, and, and Cuba wants Guantanamo back. And, uh, you know, all these little pieces of land that, that you know, countries bought or, or took over, um, you know, decades or centuries ago. Uh, ice cream IPA combination... Uh, Okay, let me do something real quick here. Okay, we have 17, 718 of you. I wanted to share with you real quick here. Just before I go. Plan A and Plan B for summer 2020. And let me know what you guys think. And this computer is really slow. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. This will be Plan A. And of course, both would end in Glacier National Park. Both would be probably June, July, August or something like that. And then, of course, I would have to return. If I do this route, I would return, return through North Dakota and northern Minnesota. And uh, we'll do like, like part of Michigan, maybe uh, on my way to Pennsylvania, which would be like the... Oh, you guys are not seeing anything. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there you go all this time I thought you guys were, were, were watching the map that's one possibility uh, of course I would go like a, yeah, you know parts of Alabama so, some, some, something in Mississippi because I haven't really done much in Mississippi something in our, I mean, the, the Dolly Parton stampede is probably not going to happen this will be like part of Route 66 here and then through Kansas, you know, I do the, the tall grass prairie national preserve and then go into Colorado into the mountains, escape the heat and pretty much kind of, I mean, I, I added this, but pretty much hug the, the Rocky Mountains 
uh, all the way to Glacier National Park. That would be plan A. And then plan B would take me through a more a, uh, a more route like through the would be like like kind of a reverse trip. It would take me more uh, on a on a midwestern route. And what am I doing here? I'm I'm doing it wrong. Hold on. This is what I'm calling plan B, which is kind of similar in a way. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Someday, computer. Pretty much the same, but then do like northern Georgia, a little more Cloudland Canyon State Park. And I was thinking of going all the way to, to Waynesville, North Carolina, near Asheville. I have a friend who lives there. And uh, then, of course, uh, you know, this area, Kansas City, tall grass prairie again. But then go, go back through Iowa and uh, Des Moines and going up through through the, through Minnesota. I would avoid uh, Minneapolis. I don't want to visit too many big cities uh, on, on this part of the trip. And then up here, of course, Minnesi Mississippi River headwaters and uh, KVL, YTV, Mast, Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and then onto, um, onto Glacier National Park. Th those, those are like the two uh, um, routes that I'm thinking of. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. But uh, but I almost ended the stream by mistake. Hold on, <laughs> I have too many windows open here, only one screen. And uh, uh, okay, Jesse O. If you pass through Tampa sometime, we'll buy an APA on one of our many fine breweries. Absolutely, I, I'm probably gonna go through Tampa uh, on on this trip. I I know I want to stop by Jacksonville, get a get a, give me a tiny car wash, uh, an RV wash. How about straight up north quickly to avoid the heat and then straddle the Canadian border? Either either that or uh, avoid the heat would be either the mountains or straddle the Canadian mountain. I mean mountain but border. So we'll see. Montana looks nice. Yeah, both trips would end in Montana, and probably northern Idaho as well. You know, the Tet the Max McLear, the Tetons, and Yellowstone were nothing short of spectacular, and I thought Zion couldn't be surpassed. Uh, that second plan is good too. Continental Divide. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. This these are just two plans that I just came up uh, on a whim yesterday. I. I kind of deleted all my Alaska uh, plan and, and uh, up until Kansas City and uh, Sandy McLear can't wait to see you again in Arizona looking forward to see what you find on the, your next journey of course and, and that will be in January I want to I want to do like some of the things that I that I, that I haven't seen like Canyon de Shea and there's uh, I have it written down um Aileen the gnome if you like lakes uh, Minnesota has a bunch of them such a pretty state yeah and, and definitely that northern part part of Minnesota I want to uh, I want to visit uh, for sure both plans looks awesome would prefer plan one but it would be nice for you to go to North Dakota right well North Dakota will be on the way back uh, from plan one so if you think about plan two it's almost like plan one the, the second part of plan one in reverse so are your past road trippers plans public? I don't think they are. I, I, I don't know if I can make them public. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, maybe I should do make them public. And I, I, uh, I found out recently about another a uh, website where you can plan trips. And I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. Maybe it's easier. Have you been to Washington D.C.? I've been there several times. Never never for too long, but yeah, I've been uh, uh, several times. Uh, Tyrone Wicks, why is the RV so obedient? Because it goes where it's towed to. <laughs> Zion is a must, yeah, absolutely. The Lost RVers, uh, so where should we go, Robert, next Friday from Northern California? We need to go into Nevada, man, or um, I don't know. Let me just look at the map because sometimes I get disoriented. I know where things are, but. Uh, Yeah, maybe keep make make a beeline for Nevada, man. Uh, that's what I would do. Uh, 
Uh, all right, everybody. It's been fun, but I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start wrapping this up. I'm out of beer, anyways. So uh, I'm gonna. Wait, wait, what song would you guys like me to sing today? You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start cutting my own hair soon. Uh, because Papo Estilo has been closed for, for two months, almost. Have you gone through Arkansas? I need to go there. I've been briefly through Arkansas. I, I visited uh, Telegraph Hill. I think it's that body. No, Magazine. Magazine Hill, which is like the tallest mountain in the state. And I stayed at Little Rock. And uh, it's cool. It's cool. Let me get the guitar. And let's see how this works. Uh. Let me let me lower the camera a little bit. Yeah, I got one of these newfangled tables that goes up and down. It's pretty cool. Oh, driving to the west, CLT, yeah. Can't wait to drive to the west again. Driving to the west, into the sunset, driving to the west, driving to the west, into the sunset, driving to the west, driving into Mexico, Arizona, even California. Oh, I forgot the lyrics. Driving through New Mexico, Arizona, even California. I'm gonna, gonna get my kicks on 66. The thunders and the desert are my fix. Driving to the west in my RV. It's where I wanna be. Yeah. Here's the new version. Driving into Utah, Colorado, high above sea level is my motto. Into the thin air, I'm a tea bear, nothing like the west of the sun compare. Driving to the west in my RV is where I wanna be. Sunset driving to the west, driving to the west, into the sunset, driving to the west, driving to the west, driving to the west. Good night, Andrew and Monica. Driving to the west, CLT, Rebecca Hernandez, Jim, Lucky Dog Productions, Red Jaguar, everybody else, Goombas. Yeah. Thank you, Alexi, for that super chat. Hey, 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 hey. Love your videos. Hope you do travel in an RV in the future. Hope you do. And to the rest of you. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much, Daniel Silovitz, for that super chat. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the Mini Tini Lounge at uh, same time, but different channel. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Stay, uh, stay healthy out there. <laughs>